Feldstein. I play Nora in Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. My character Nora is, uh, she's a bit of a wild child. She's flying through windows and stuff like that. Um, in reality, I am nothing like that. I have often been the only sober person at a party and had an amazing time. So I thought I'd share a few reasons why you might want to be too. First of all, socializing is super amazing and important, but you don't have to be messed up to socialize. Also, you're gonna be the smartest person in the room. I swear to you, you will be the smartest person in the room. The next day, if you were sober at the party the night before, you're gonna wake up feeling refreshed. A couple times in college, didn't take this advice, just a few times, and I showed up to a rehearsal for a play, and one of my friends, she had been the sober one at the party, and she was perky, she had memorized all her lines, and uh, she definitely had a better rehearsal than I did, so <laughs> I think I should take my own advice the next day. This next one is very important to me. You do not need anything but yourself to have a dance party. Okay, let me tell you, you can dance just as you, and it's just as fun. So there's also some competitive benefits to being the sober one at the party. For example, you're gonna win every single game. Just play with ginger ale, play with spray, play with water. It's still just as fun, and you're gonna win. You're gonna be the problem solver. You're gonna be the one that gets everyone out of a jam, whether it's someone getting hit on who doesn't want to be hit on by this person, or they lose their phone on the dance floor, or they get locked in the bathroom. You got it. You're gonna be the one that they're like, ah, Beanie, are you here? And I'm like, hey girl, I got you, let's go. I'm sorry, I need to grab her for a second. Mm -hmm. You can be the designated driver. I was always the designated driver in high school, and let me tell you, the next day, your friends owe you. You got a little leverage. You're gonna be the memory keeper for your whole friend group. So take a lot of pictures, you know, keep an eye on what's going on, but then the next day, friends are gonna remember and you can be the one to explain and you can all laugh about it. Or if you need to, you can block over. Up to you. You you never have to make out with anyone that you don't want to make out with. But if you're sober, you'll be a little bit more clear on where that line is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go see Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising, and subscribe to Team Vogue.